What's happening guys? This is Speedy Spectrum and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Stadium 2. In the last episode, we defeated the Elite Four and cleared the Johto Gym Leader Castle. But eight more Gym Leaders await our challenge. Once again, we have to conquer the Kanto Gym Leader Castle. One thing I forgot to mention is that unlike the Johto Gym Leaders, you can challenge the Kanto Leaders in any order you want. But for simplicity's sake, we're going to challenge them in the proper order. So we're going to start off with the leader of Pewter Gym, Brock. Once again, we're going to use the exact same team. Boring and monotonous, I know, but the point is, this team works. How's it going, Brock? You look well. So, you finally made it this far. I'm Brock. Bring it on! As to be expected, his team is a little bit more diverse. Having only two rock Pokémon. Did you take a page from the Elite Four's book, I wonder? Regardless, we're going to lead off with Zapdos. That might seem like a strange choice, but hear me out. We'll need Zapdos to take care of both Heracross and Slowbro. And chances are he's going to have one of those Pokémon with him. We'll need to bring Kingdra for obvious reasons, and we'll also want to use Machamp in case that Ursaring shows up. The challenger faces Brock, Pewter's gym leader. I hope the challenger will go at Brock with Brock hard determination. The funny thing is, he says the exact same thing when you challenge him in red, blue, and yellow. That's why his Pokemon are all the rock type. But he doesn't start out with a rock Pokemon. Instead, he leads off with his Slowbro. Water Psychic type, holding a Bright Powder, with the moves Fissure, Surf, Psychic, and Flamethrower. The only legitimate way Slowbro can learn Flamethrower is through the Move Tutor and Crystal version. Slowbros are never They're easy to take world. down because of their, their gargantuan bulk and annoying movesets. And this one is no different. The good news is that it thankfully cannot use Fissure on Zapdos. The bad news is he decided to switch out. Instead, he's gonna go for Steelix. Why am I not surprised? Steelix is a steel and ground type, holding a scope lens with the moves Fissure, Return, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. You should know by now that Steelix's defense is untouchable and that special attacks are the way to go. Fire works well, although you'll want to be careful of Earthquake and Rock Slide. So I say that water moves are your best bet. Hence why I've got Kingdra with me. That Rock Slide didn't do a whole lot of damage, which is nice. I think I'm going to... Have on the use a Surf to take him out. I don't think Ice Beam will be enough to KO it. AGAIN you switch out! Back to Slowbro then, so we all know what's going to happen next. Yeah, that hardly did anything, did it? All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to drop all of my cups because I'm a t complete and total klutz. And uh, we're going to use Dragon Breath. Hopefully I can get a little paralysis off of this uh, slow bro. What's this? Ah, paralysis. I like to see that happening. Yeah, I was drinking some water, and after I drank the last of it, I the cup slipped out of my hand. <laughs> yeah, that's sensible, isn't it? But uh, I can worry about that another time. For now, let's use... Uh, yeah, let's switch out to Zapdos. Okay. The trainer's switching Pokemon. 
Knowing my luck, he's going to switch back to Kingdra. Or wait, no, he doesn't switch back to Kingdra because I have Kingdra on my team. He's gonna switch back to steal it. Wow, I don't know my own team members now. Isn't that special? I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, try another Thunderbolt. Yep, he's gonna switch out once again. I'm growing tired of this game of cat and mouse. I'm thinking I'm going to have to eventually take out that Slowbro with Kingdra. But for now, we need to switch back to Kingdra. Because I don't want Zapdos to get hit by that rock slide. Because that would definitely be trouble. The Pokemon emerges from its Pokeball. Up ah, there, see, I called it. I called it. If Kingdra does go down, I can use Machamp to take out that Steelix. I'm gonna go ahead and use Ice Beam. And once again, he switches out because he knows he won't be able to survive a surf at the hands of Kingdra. The verdict is in. I'm going to have to use Kingdra to take out the Slowbro. So my best bet is to just launch a barrage of Dragon Breath attacks and hope for the best. The only thing that Slowbro can really use against me is Psychic. Then again, it could use Fissure, but that's inaccurate. Ugh, that did quite a bit, I'm sorry to say. Let's go for another Dragon Breath and see if that works. Hopefully it will. Alright, one more Dragon Breath should do it, provided I can tank an- Ah! I don't have to tank another attack, because it's paralyzed! Me likey! One more Dragon Breath and this thing is going down. All right, that's the end of Slowbro. Rather nice. So what's he going to send out next? Probably not Steelix. No, he goes for his last Pokemon. Shuckle. Bug and Rock type, holding leftovers with the moves Wrap, Rollout, Safeguard, and Defense Curl. Shuckle is a rather interesting Pokemon, to say the least, because... It has the highest base defense and special defense stats of any other Pokemon in the game. But to balance this out, all of its other stats are garbage. It's meant to be a wall and strictly a wall. It has very limited offensive capabilities and it definitely got better uh, later on in future generations. But for now, Shuckle really isn't that much of an issue. Yes, it can raise its defense, but it really has nothing to fend off special attacks. Which is why I'm using them. Of course, since Shuckle's uh, HP... Oh, well, never mind. It was a two-hit KO. I thought it was going to take three surfs, but no. Alright, I'm fine with that. One last Pokemon, and I know what it is. Hello there, Steelix. I know I'm faster than you, so I'm just going to hit you with one more Surf Attack. And hopefully that should finish you off. If any of you were in doubt about the amazingness of Kingdra, let this battle prove you wrong. Gonna go for Earthquake. Shouldn't KO me, even though it does get stab damage. And it didn't, which is nice. One more Surf Attack. And this thing is going down. The finishing blow. All right, that is it for Steelix. Awesome. That settles this battle. One Kanto gym leader down, and seven more to go. All right then. You are defeated, Brock. 
How could anyone break through my rock-hard defense? I wouldn't call it your rock-hard defense. I'd call it your rock-hard switching tactics. Brock is defeated, so let's move on to the next gym leader. The leader of Cerulean Gym, and a fan favorite character, I might add, Misty. You've probably realized this, but uh, just like last time, all of the gym leaders fight by themselves. No trainers to join them. Hey there, Misty. How's it going? It's my turn. I'm Misty, the water Pokemon trainer. You only use two water Pokemon, just like Brock and just like all of the other trainers. I think that's a recurring theme in as far as the gym leader castle in round two goes. So the question is, what am I going to use against you? Well, we're going to lead off with Zapdos for obvious reasons, but we'll also want to bring Kingdra to deal with both Nidoqueen and Dragonair. And let's bring Machamp to deal with Wigglytuff and Ampharos. Cerulean Jim's Misty is up to the challenge. The heat of the battle is sure to turn the water attacks of her water Pokemon into steam. See, the Kanto Gym Leader Castle got it right. They use the Kanto Gym Leader battle theme in Pokemon Crystal, or in Generation 2. Whatever, I don't care. So first up is Politoed, Water type, holding a focus band with the moves Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Earthquake. Misty is going to try and get Rain Dance set up as quickly as possible. And once that happens, her water attacks are going to get stronger. So the best thing I can do is knock out her Pokemon before that happens. Ah, not quite enough. And it goes for Ice Beam, yikes. Thankfully it didn't freeze me, but that did do a sizable chunk of damage. So let's uh, get rid of it once and for all, courtesy of Thunderbolt. Polytoad's defenses are a bit better than I gave it credit for, so I have to salute it on that. For those of you who watched the anime, you might remember that Misty had a Polytoad, but instead of fighting, it all it was a cheerleader, and it always clapped its hands together, and it was so cute! And speaking of cute, Ampharos is her next Pokemon. Electric type, holding a bright powder, with the moves Rain Dance, Thunder, Reflect, and Light Screen. The only purpose to this Ampharos is to set up both Reflect and Light Screen. So try and take it out before it gets both barriers set up. I realize I could have switched out to Machamp, but I wanted to paralyze Ampharos just to be safe. Haha! <laughs> Full paralysis! I approve. Now is the time to send in Machamp. A couple of earthquakes and this thing should be going down. As I've mentioned before, unlike other electric Pokemon, Ampharos isn't one of the fast, is one of the slower electric types. But uh-oh, thunder. That's not good. And it ran towards me as it was using thunder. I've mentioned this before, but thunder gets 100% accuracy if it's raining, which is another reason why she has rain dance out. Ah, you're going to switch! Okay, what are you going to switch out to? Starmie? Yep, I called it. I called it. After all, it is her signature Pokemon. Uh, Starmie is a water and psychic type, holding a King's Rock with the moves Rain Dance, Surf, Thunder, and Psychic. Starmie is amazing. By far one of the best Pokemon, period. An incredibly wide type coverage makes this Starmie a real threat. So it is imperative that you use electric attacks to get rid of it quickly. I find it rather ironic that despite being a psychic type, Starmie can't learn any psychic moves normally. Oh, it's faster than I am! Yikes! Well, that's not good. Oh, Zapdos, you survived with 6 HP! 
Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Yes! The biggest threat on Misty's team goes down. And now she only has one Pokemon, and I'm confident I can take it out. One more time, Amphros. One more time. All right, let's bring back Machamp. This Pokemon is switching out. Now, hopefully, Machamp will be able to tank a few Thunders. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. But if all goes well, that shouldn't be necessary. Oh, maybe it will be. Vicious attack. Yeah, that deals a lot of damage. But let's see if an earthquake takes it out. Come on, Machamp, do your stuff. Do your stuff. I don't want to rely on Kingdra. Now, ah, wasn't quite enough. I got hosed. And this thunder is going to get rid of me. Yep. 70% accuracy, my foot. It's managed to connect with thunder every single time. There is no justice. Absolutely no justice. All right. It's all up to you, Kingdra. You are part dragon type, so the electric attacks are only going to do neutral damage. Let's hit you with the surf and hope for the best. Ride those waves, Kingdra. It missed! Are you kidding me? And it got a critical hit with Thunder. That is a double whammy, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a double whammy. Surf missed. An accurate, a move with 100% accuracy missed of all things. I don't approve of that. Now I'm going to reflect that anger back on you tenfold, Amphoros. Ah, pointless critical. Ah, you don't like being critted yourself, do you, Misty? Do ya? Well, that is it. Misty has been defeated. And thank goodness, because I don't think I would have survived the next couple of attacks. That makes me so angry. You made me angry when you made my surf mess. I don't know how you did it, but you did. Well, that is it for Misty. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Stadium 2, we're going to fight Lieutenant Surge and Erica. See you guys next time.